Hey guys, welcome back. A uh, couple more fights happening this weekend. First of all, we've got Carl Frampton back in the ring. He's going up against Steve Molitor. Um, you know, Carl Frampton, he's been unlucky with this Kiko Martinez business of dropping out of fights um, with injury. And, you know, this is a good fight though, because he's got another good name who he can add to his record, but it's still going to be a, 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 a bit of a test and something he can learn from. You know, this is a guy, Steve Molitor, who was, has been a world champion, bantamweight, I think, and who is experienced, and he is a southpaw, and he may cause some problems, some issues for Carl Frampton. Um, and Carl's really going to have to, you know, again, step his game up to pull off the victory here, and um, this is going to be another good learning experience for him for the bigger fights that are probably going to come down the line. I think Carl Frampton does this. I think he actually stops Molitor. Um, I'm going to go for round eight. Um, I don't know why, I've just had this feeling about Frampton with this fight, that he's going to technically break down Molitor and get the stoppage. Whether it may be a body punch, I'm not sure. But I think that um, Frampton's going to, again, step it up in this fight. You know, the thing with Cal Frampton is, I was saying to, to um, Irish NK, who also has a good channel on here, I was saying, Frampton, do, he does everything right. Okay, He's good technically, doesn't, doesn't, put, a lot of foot, doesn't put his foot wrong often. Um, and he reminds me of Kel Brook in that sense. The same way I feel about the, the two of them. He doesn't really put a foot wrong, but he, he does everything right. But he doesn't really blow me away, you know? doesn't really excite me. I don't really want to watch him fight, you know, type thing. And maybe that will come with time, I don't know. Um, but I feel the same way with Kel Brook. I, I'm not blown away by them. And I, I know there's a lot of uh, hype around the guys. And uh, they're, they're very good technical boxers and they can go far. I'm not doubting that. I'm not saying they're bad boxers or anything. But I'm not excited by them. And I'm not jumping out of my seat to go watch them. Um, but I think Frampton will do this. I think you get a stoppage victory. Um, and I think he will show another, again, uh, good technical breakdown, good foot movement. I think he'll, as the fight progresses, I think he'll, uh, he'll actually start trying to cut off the ring, pushing Molitor back. And I think he'll actually be looking to uh, systematically break him down with the, to the body, opening them up for those angles, and I think that um, Frampton will get the job done. So I'm picking Carl Frampton this, in that fight by a stoppage in the eighth round. Now there is another fight which I want to mention to you guys, uh, and if you can't catch it live, um, please I'd like to ask you guys to check this guy out because um, I think he's good. It's 21-year-old Mexican, Juan Carlos Sanchez Jr. And he's going up against Rodel Mayol. And Sanchez Jr. is putting his IBF Super Flyweight title on the line. The fight's in Mexico. Uh, Mayol's from the Philippines. Um, and this is, should be a good fight. <clears throat> you know, Sanchez Jr., I did a prediction when he fought uh, Rosas, uh, fight la la the last fight he had, and he won the unanimous decision. And Rojas, Rojas was a pressure fighter. But if you, Sanchez Jr. Is, is not really a typical Mexican. It, for me, he reminds me of Tommy Hearns. The way he, he bounces back on his feet towards the ropes. And the way he holds his body, you know. Um, he's very um, fluid in his movement. He can fight very well on the back foot, which is what he does. And he's proven against other pressure fighters that he can really uh, pull away with the points. Um, he's not a particularly powerful puncher from my recollection now. But what he does well is he uses a very good jab, very good consistent jab, and he comes through with some good right hands. Um, I think he's an orthodox. Well, you know what I mean anyway. But he's a really good mover around the ring. Really, Watch this guy, guys. He's a world champion at 21 years of age. and I, I really think he's good. And this is a tough fight. Rodel Mayol has been in with Ivan Calderon twice. He's fought on you know, world titles on multiple occasions, you know, right from minimum weight up. And he actually with, with Ivan Calderon, when Calderon was unbeaten, the first fight they had a draw and the second fight was he lost on technical decision. Both times, now bear this in mind, both times were from head clashes. And in multiple fights, Rodel Mayol has issues with head clashes, okay? This fight is set up for head clash problems because Sanchez Jr. is a southpaw like Calderon. He also, although he has a, he's a bit taller and he has a height and reach advantage, well, he, he does use that well, but he also tends to hunch over a little bit. With his stance, he's quite a bit lower and he hunches over a bit. And, and 
where Maillard throws his punches, he tends to quite lead with his head sometimes to throw his whole body into the punch. I think this fight is absolutely screaming out head clash, cut problems. Don't be surprised if this fight stopped on a you know some craziness with cuts to someone. Okay, probably Sanchez Junior, knowing his luck, knowing knowing his luck against Mayol. I'm I'm thinking either Mayol cuts off the ring and gets to Sanchez Junior because Mayol's a, a experienced fighter and he's actually a really good, he's a good fighter breaking you down. Um, and either he stops Sanchez Junior. Um, actually catches him and pushes him up against the ropes and tries to get a TKO stoppage or Sanchez Jr. proves to me that he's as good as I think he is and he gets a decision victory over Mayol and now boxes the guy and mo moves around, sticks with a jab moves around, throws a couple of combinations gets the points on the board um, this is it's not, I'm not I don't know uh, what I'm going to predict for this fight go on, I'll go for the Sanchez Jr. by uh, unanimous decision but I think that Mayol is a very dangerous opponent. And it's a, one of these sort of fights where I see a fighter and I've watched him for a, for a bit now and I do rate him and I think he's really good for his age. And this is a fight where he, can he prove to me that he's actually as good as I think he is. So, yeah, check him out, guys. Juan Carlos Sanchez Jr. going up against Rodel Mayol for the IBF Super Flyweight title. Should be a good, a good bout. <clears throat> um... Like I said, maybe mad with head clashes, but I hope, hopefully not. Hopefully, we get a really good fight. Um, so there's a couple of th those couple of fights I wanted to talk about for this weekend. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and let me know what you think of uh, Carlos Sanchez Jr. There is footage of him on YouTube. Um, let me know what you think. So as always, this is Boxped, and thank you for watching.